think about eyes, I think about a few things. One of them is sunglasses. Sunglasses can be cool. They can come in different colors, and they even come in different shapes and fun designs. Sunglasses may make us look cool or nice, but they actually have a purpose. They protect your eyes from the sun's rays, and they help you see better out in the sun. Hey, Chris, let go of my cookies. I see but you. sunglasses aren't the only way to protect your eyes. Did you know that the things you read or watch go into your mind and you begin to think on it? Then it goes into your heart and begins to influence your actions and your attitude. So we need to be careful to protect our eyes from watching things that God wouldn't want us to see. We need protection from what's shown on television, the internet, movies, YouTube videos, social media, video games, and books and magazines. Remember, once something is seen, it can't be unseen. Ah! Oh, I wish I hadn't seen that. The world we live in loves all sorts of evil things like violence, gossip, nudity, ungodly relationships, drama, foul language, and disrespectful behavior. All sorts of things that are against God and against his word. So we need to protect our eyes from watching all that. So if we aren't supposed to watch all that, what can we watch or look at? Well, let's see what the Bible says. In Philippians 4, 8, God tells us to think on whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy. Think about such things. Since Jesus is all these things, pure, noble, excellent, praiseworthy, then we should fix our eyes on Jesus. God wants us to watch things that will bring us closer to him and encourage us to follow his ways to follow the Bible. So how can we know what's okay to watch? We need to pray and know what God says in his word so we can follow God's standards, not the world. We can also ask ourselves this question. If we were watching something on TV or the computer and Jesus came along, would he be pleased with what we're watching? Or would he say, that's not good for you. That's not going to make you more like me. If that's the case, you need to stop and make a better choice. Asking yourself this question will help you make choices that please God. Choices that guard your eyes and your heart. You know, there will be many times in your life when you face choices about what to see or watch. Friends and family may tell you that something is cool or interesting and that you should watch. Something might have a lot of views on YouTube or seem to be very popular. But none of this matters. What matters is God. We need to honor God in everything we do, including the choices we make as to what to watch. But wait! When Chris and I make a good choice and pick a show that would please God or a YouTube video that would please God, sometimes we get... Ambushed by a bad commercial. So when that happens, here's what we do. We mute and turn away. We mute and turn away. And wait for the bad commercial to be over. This is our eye protection. Be prepared to protect your eyes too. Let's pray and ask God to help us guard our eyes and our heart. God, we know this world is filled with evil, which is shown in many of the things we see in the media. Please help us to turn away from these things and to focus our eyes on Jesus. Help us to honor you in everything we say and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So remember, watch things that bring you closer to God and help you walk in his ways. Protect your eyes.